everybody, Dr. Rick dropping in on you. Hope everybody is having an unbelievable start to your week. It is Monday, so you know what that means. It is another Monday Manly Mandates. This is where we defend black masculinity. This is where we defend masculinity in general. This is where we talk about what it means to be a man. This is where we lay the foundation for building the next generation of black men and men in general that we stand up to this push of the new soft man era that everybody's proclaiming is the next thing. There's no evolution in masculinity. Masculinity is the most permanent element of who we are as a man. It is the expression of our God uh, given purpose and the design at which we through which we operate so again this is just another segment today we're going to talk about the importance of managing our emotions uh, as a man and i'm going to give you three real quick tips on what it takes to be a man that can manage his emotions uh there's this idea that when we say uh men uh, have to be able to manage their emotions that we're saying that men are emotionless that men can't cry that men can't feel or men don't feel and it's the complete opposite it's what we do when we feel that determines the level of masculinity we are executing at any given time uh, everybody feels but it's not what you feel it's what you do I remember uh, everybody talking about um, one of the things that I've always said when I'm, you know, in a situation in my marriage uh, was that I never treat my wife based on how I feel. I treat her based on my covenant, based on my responsibility, based on the commitment. And what that means is no matter how I feel, she gets the best of me. No matter how I feel, there's a way I'm going to talk to her. No matter how I feel, there's a way I'm going to work to try to do the things I need to do for her. So even when I'm disappointed or upset with her about something, there's a way that I'm going to handle her, handle her that's reflective of my commitment and my responsibility, not my ego. And, and that's the basis, but it goes beyond just what you do with a woman. It goes beyond just what you do with a child. It goes beyond, I mean, I've seen so many things, people, uh, uh, the violence, the, the numbers that tell us that um, the second leading cause of death for black females between 15 and 44 is intimate partner violence, meaning they're being killed by someone that they should be able to depend on and trust to make sure that they're safe, that the escalating violence within the black community between black men and and you can go on and on all these different places where the inability to manage our emotions are putting us in a uh conundrum uh, in the depths of a, the belly of a conundrum that we don't have the solution to because again we're operating out of emotion but the first thing is a man never reacts a man responds and what's the difference between a reaction and a response if you're talking in the medical field if you say you had a reaction that's a negative thing it means that the body's reacting to something and there's a negative output of it when the body is responding it means that it's responding to the treatment there's a positive growth well in life uh, when you react it is a instinctive uh quick uh, reaction to something that does not consider the outcome it is often based on feeling emotion and not based on evaluation the first thing you've got to learn how to do is process the information now there are times you need to be instinctively decisive if you're defending your life or defending the life of someone else protecting someone else that's a completely different thing but most of the things that we're dealing with aren't on that level we're not having to go out and defend life and limb each and every day. Those days, uh, which is what the limbic system and the uh, reptilian brain was really built to do was to protect us and keep us alive. But we were out there hunting and gathering when, when, when that was it. Now we're in a space where there may be a time where we need to defend and protect and we need to uh, be able to use our natural ability to protect and that's that. But the truth of the matter is most of the times it's things we have time to think about. We just simply react. 
And what we have to realize is as men, there's a reason why we are bigger than our women, stronger than our women, more aggressive than our women. It's given to us to be protectors, not destroyers. And that's the thing that we have to keep in mind. Unfortunately, if you don't learn how to manage your emotions, your emotions will drive you into destructive behavior. Your emotions will drive you into uh, a place of perpetual devastation and you will find yourself in bad places. Uh, you have to ask yourself. Is what I'm about to do going to produce a favorable or desired result or will it cause harm uh, to myself and those I love? Is what I'm doing going to produce a result that I can be satisfied with after the fact or will I look back and regret what I'm doing? You have to be able to create hindsight as a man and say this is how I'm going to operate this is what I'm going to do because what I do is going to impact those I am responsible for and then the second thing you need to do uh, is understand that a man functions through his character and his integrity and not his emotions we are meant to feel but we are meant to evaluate what we feel we're meant to ass assess what we feel and then we're meant to use our ability to process and reason and rationalize to come up with a solution, uh, to come up with a, a, a resolution to whatever it is we're facing and not to uh, act impulsively. It is what sets us apart. It's what separates a man from a boy. It's what separates a man from a woman. We are meant to be able to stabilize situations and we can't do that if we are operating out of our emotions. We can make real bad decisions, real poor decisions when we follow the lead of our emotions. We are to use our reason, our rationale, our discernment, our connection with God, the ability to tap into what is right and what is wrong. And we have that, but we're going to have to act on it. And finally, a man never destroys what he should be building and protecting. It has to be an established understanding what your responsibility are. What role are you assuming? What role are you standing in? Are you standing in the role of a husband? Are you standing in the role of a father? Are you standing in the role of a community leader? Are you standing in the role as a part of this collective conglomerate leadership we call black manhood. Well, what are the responsibilities of that? Oh, oh, you're supposed to protect the women. You're supposed to protect the children. You're supposed to protect uh, the elderly. And you're supposed to even protect the weaker men in the fold who haven't developed the capacity or are unsure of how to protect themselves. That's the responsibility of manhood. So then in that sense, Am I protecting or destroying? I am in uh, no way inclined to destroy that which I should be protecting, that which I should be building, that which I should be embracing. And that's the thing. Brothers, this also means that we need to come together and learn how to build one another. We, we've gotten this thing that we are literally grasping at straws, trying to uh, take hold of some power that we feel a yearn for from the deepest recesses of our soul. And it, we, we've been convinced that it's scarce. We've been convinced that it's only a, a, a small portion of it left for the black man and so you've got to go out and you've got to fight for it you've got to go out and you've got to compete for it you got to go out and you got to be great and tear down another black man in order for you to be elevated but that's not what it is what's for you is for you what god has set out for you nobody else can possess it only you can possess it but you can also abdicate it. You can also surrender it. You can also let it go. It's your responsibility to step into it. And one of the ways we do that is by embracing one another, by standing with one another, by moving with one another. That's my challenge to you. We have a responsibility to manage our emotions, to stand and operate in the highest level and to connect 
and collaborate. If we do this, we will become a very powerful force and our women will be safer. Our children will be better off for it. And the elderly can look back and be proud. That's our responsibility. On that note, I'm stepping out of here. Uh, if you believe in the work we're doing at the Odyssey Project and research uh, in uh, program development and advocacy for uh, incarcerated individuals for sc in school districts for our children, especially black males who are disproportionately referred to special education, look, support the work we do. We've been doing this for over three decades and we will continue to do it, but we definitely need your help. So again, I'm I'm, I'm calling on you to look in the description box and give. But whatever, pass this along to another brother, sisters, check this out because we will continue to do this series so you can see what black men are striving for and understand what a real true uh, man looks like and behaves like. And there is no perfect, but we are striving for excellence. And I want you to start supporting the man in your life to be the best version of themselves. On that note, look, I'm out of here. You guys, I want to thank you for letting me steal a little bit of your time. Take care. Yeah. Yeah. They said I should give it up like that just ain't good enough. Hello everybody, Dr. Rick Wallace here, dropping in with a little special announcement for those who have followed me for any stretch of time you know outside of the businesses that i run like myriad business solutions the visionetics institute odyssey media group i also do a great deal of work inside of the inner city communities uh, in houston dallas and other areas uh, i'm asking now as we push a fundraiser that you support what the odyssey project is doing in the inner cities uh, especially with programs like Black Men Lead, which is a rite of passage uh, initiative, and Restoring Ghetto for, Ghetto's Forgotten Daughters, which is a program focused on helping young girls, but boys as well, suffering from childhood sexual abuse, uh, rape, molestation, domestic abuse, uh, absentee fatherhood, and so many other things. Uh, the information will be in the box. Thank you.